Hello, today let's look at this problem. This integral is tough because we have the 1 over x squared term in the exponential function. The most popular way to solve this problem is to use Feynman's trick. But you can see from the thumbnail, no Feynman today. When I solved this problem, I found a very beautiful elementary method to handle this integral. Actually, this elementary method is even more simple than Feynman's trick. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe my channel, turn on the notification, and give a like. Let's get started. Here we require A is arbitrary positive constant, and B is arbitrary non-negative constant. So first, we do the reciprocal substitution. We let u equals to 1 over x, and then we can solve for x, which is equal to 1 over u. And also we do the derivative to find the dx. After plugging the substitution, we got here. And the note for the lower and upper limit for this integral. After we apply the reciprocal substitution, the lower and upper limit are flipped. But we have this negative sign in front of this 1 over u square term. So we can use this negative sign to flip the lower and upper limit back. After we flip them back, we got here. But if you compare this red term, previously it's a times x square. But right now it's a over u square. And similarly for this blue term, it's flipped from the b over x square to b times u square. So our goal is to go back to the original format. We want this red term to be a times u square, and this blue term to be b over u square. So we make another substitution. We let u equals to square root a over square root b, then times t. And then we plug in this substitution into this red term. So we got here. And then we square the denominator. a cancel out. And then we flip this constant b to the numerator. And next, we plug in this substitution to this blue term. And then we square it. So the b cancel out. And we got here. Now we plug in these simplified results into this integral to replace this red and this blue term. And next, we plug in the substitution to replace the u square. And we got here after square the denominator. And then we flip this constant b to the numerator. And next, from this substitution, we can find du, which is here. And finally, we plug in to replace du, so we got here. I copy it here. And note for the green term and the purple term, they can partially cancel out. So after simplified, we got here. Because this is definite integral, so we are free to choose the integration variable. So we choose x as the integration variable. So after replace the integration variable from t to x, then we got here. And next, we multiply square root a on both sides. So these two terms cancel out. And we got here. And recall the original problem, which is here. Similarly, we multiply the square root a on both sides of this original problem, then we got here. And next, for these two equations, we just add them together, so we got here. And then we take this exponential function out, so we got here. For the left-hand side, it's equals to 2 times square root a times i. And then we write the right-hand side into this form. And the note for the exponential function, we take this negative sign out. And the next, we multiply this green factor on both sides. So these two terms cancel out. I copy it here. And then we make a substitution. We let u equals to the subtraction of these two terms. And note here, when x approach to 0 from the positive side, then u approach to negative infinity. And we will use this important limit later. 
and then we just found du by doing the derivative to the right-hand side. After taking the derivative, we got here. And note for the sign here, after taking the derivative, it's converted from the minus sign to the plus sign. And then we write it into this way. And next, from our substitution, we take the complete square on both sides. After expanding the complete square, we got here for the right hand side. And then we write it into this way. So now we are ready to plug in to replace this green term and this blue term. After replace them, we got here. And note for this important limit here. By using this limit, we convert the lower limit from 0 to negative infinity after we do the substitution. And then we take this right term out of the integral because it's a constant factor. And note for this integral, this is Gaussian integral. If you don't know how to calculate this Gaussian integral, you can click here to see my previous video. So for this Gaussian integral, it equals to square root pi. So we got this final answer. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like. That's all for today, and thank you for watching.